What's up viewers, Eric from B Sonic. Today we have here a 2014 Toyota Avalon that's fully loaded. We're gonna be installing a video and navigation and motion controller as you can see over here. This will allow you to control the blacked out features while the vehicle is in motion. In addition, if you have a video player on your vehicle, some sort of video input or a DVD player, this will also unlock that as well. So let's go ahead and get in the car and get started. All right, we're in the car here. The first thing you want to do is remove this shift knob. Just simply turn it counterclockwise until you can completely remove the shift knob. Okay, next step, go ahead and lower your glove compartment. And afterwards, you want to get this piece over here removed. Simply do so by getting a hold of a panel removal tool and tying it out from this area here. And it's all just held by clips. Okay. And then once you have it removed here, go ahead and just remove the little connector. For the next step, we are going to have to remove this whole top piece over here. Just go ahead and first um, cover this area with some towel. Um, lower the steering wheel all the way to the bottom position. And then just gently remove this panel. Okay, and then yours also get a panel removal tool and just go ahead and carefully remove the clips that's holding rubber um, leather piece down to your steering wheel. So after you have that removed, go ahead and just carefully just remove it towards you. Okay, and there's a connector that you need to disconnect for your hazard. All right, once we have this upper area removed, we're gonna go ahead and grab a um, 10 millimeter socket wrench and remove this, this, and there's also two on the bottom. So let's start off with the top. Okay, and the next two 10 millimeter bolts that we want to unscrew are all the way down here. You have to look from the bottom. Okay, so once again, go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket and we are gonna unscrew them one by one. Okay, the next step is to pull this whole assembly out with the radio and also the climate control. We went ahead and masked off this area over here. We lowered the windshield wiper lever all the way down to give more space. And we also added some um, masking tape down here to prevent it from scratches. And, and also we added some blanket down here as well. So we're gonna pull it straight towards you and just put it on the blanket. Okay, go ahead and after you have it pulled out a little bit, you're gonna have to remove this uh, one connector on the bottom for climate control. It'll keep the whole unit from coming out. Okay. And there you go. And now it's time to work on the wiring on the back. Okay, the first connector we're gonna be working on is this connector. And we are going to be connecting, daisy chaining that connector to the device marked as T61 on this NT6122. So go ahead and just remove that and daisy chain it to our harness and then our other connector goes back into the factory con connector and on here you also find a ground wire so you're gonna be connecting this right here onto the metal part of this bracket so grab a hold of an 8 millimeter socket Okay, and just tighten it back with the ground wire hook. And then going back to this TVK, make sure you go ahead and put the switch to TV. And this is a switch that you do not have to have to mess with, kind of just secure it to behind the radio. And the next connector you want to work on is this big one over here. And that will be daisy chained between harness labeled N22. This part will disengage your speed sensor. So grab a hold of this connector, just pull it out. Go ahead and just daisy chain it to our N22. And next thing you want to do is you want to route this wire to where it is accessible. So we're going to go ahead and um, just 
just connect the button off and then we're gonna route this to the front all right once we have routed this wire all the way down here grab a hold of your switch again just put it on like this and we'll get some double-sided tape to place it down here all right, now that we have connected all our connectors and we routed that one NT NVK um, button all the way out to where it's accessible, um, just go ahead and organize your wires back here to make sure your radio fits it fits back into its original location nicely. And once you have confirmed everything, we're gonna go ahead and do everything in reverse order and reinstall our factory head unit. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right viewers, we just finished reinstalling the factory radio to how it's supposed to be with our NT6122 video and navigation and motion controller installed. So as you can see, everything is all factory looking. The only thing different is you have a switch coming out from here. This is your, um, your navigation and motion controller. So every time you wanna access the grayed out features related to your navigation, you wanna press this button so it'll it'll give you access to that. So right now it's on the normal factory mode. So the vehicle on the map is where it's supposed to be and you know you try to enter a destination and as you can see it's blacked out. It won't let you because the vehicle is in is moving. So in order to bypass this you know you press this button and it frees up the address. So you could go ahead and enter your address while the vehicle is in motion. While you're on this bypass mode, you also notice that the vehicle has stopped on the map. So the this bypass is actually tricking the car system to thinking that the car is not moving. That's why the grayed out feature is accessible. So after you're done inputting your address, you know you gotta go back and depress the button. And once you do that, car starts moving again the map. It, and it takes a couple of seconds for it to catch up to your actual location, but um, that should always go back and find itself after a few seconds all right guys if you have any other questions please contact us at info at beatsonicusa.com or visit our website at www.beatsonicusa.com thank you very much for watching interesting using this with for example google maps all right we like to mirror such as apple maps play it automatically it will display full screen on your factory screen.